Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to determine if a component is bad. If you have a fan, light, or even a window motor that's not going up or down, how do you determine if it's the part or something else? You'll need the proper tool, and tools can get expensive. I found an affordable tool option that in today's video, I want to share with you. This is the probe. It comes with enough cable to get you all around the vehicle. It also has a ground lead, so you can power up components off the car. These hook to your vehicle's battery, and it even comes with a paper manual. And it has all the instructions in here on how to use it. All right, so let me get this hooked up on the car and let me show you how it works. And if you're wondering about the cable, it's 14 feet. So we're gonna hook the red lead to the positive terminal and the black lead goes to the ground. And as soon as I do that, I see the voltage of the battery. Right now it's showing 11.4 volts on the display. The battery actually has 11.4 volts in there. Now, if I want to do supply power to the tip, all I do here is I push this forward. It's represented by a red LED. And if I wanted to put ground to the tip, I flip the switch backwards. And now that's represented by a green LED. And now there'll be ground to the tip. Let me show you how that works to turn on a fan. So this is the fan connector right here. You can see it goes down to the fan. I already disconnected it. And then on the back of it, it's gonna have a black wire, which is ground, and then a blue wire, and that's the fan control. So on this, I wanna use my auxiliary ground lead, and we're gonna put it on the black wire, which is this one here. And then this, we just need to power up the blue wire so we're going to come over here, put it in. So now that I know my fan works, I want to check for power and ground at the connector. So to do that, we're going to use the red LED and the green LED. So right here, we should get the red and we do have a red LED. And on this side of the connector, you'll get the green and that's the green LED. So now I know I've got power and ground at the connector, but let's say I didn't have any power here. Let me show you how to check for fuses. Now, if you're gonna use this to check fuses, it's really simple. So you get on the test port, you see the red light, that means there's power here and there should be power on the other side. So that fuse is good. Let's check this one, power, power, that's good. This one, power power. You see how easy it is? If you had a bad fuse, one would have power and the green light would go on on the other side. Now, if you need to manually test this fuse for whatever reason, just take the auxiliary ground lead. And what we're looking for here is continuity. And we take our probe and then we just touch this. And as long as you see that green light, the fuse is good. So if you need to do work in the back of your vehicle, maybe your tail lights, you have plenty of cable to get you back here. So on this, I'm gonna check an LED light. So I'm gonna use my auxiliary ground. So this is just like coming off your ground side of the battery. So I'm gonna put it here and then over here, I'm just gonna supply power to this terminal. Now I know my LED light is good. I have a problem with my wiring. Now that you have a better understanding of what this tool can do, let me tell you the price and I'll give you a little bit more information on it. So the price on Amazon, and I'll have a link in my description, it's $30. Now, what this tool does is it hooks to your vehicle's battery, positive to the positive side and ground to the ground side. Now, I have an auxiliary ground here. This is for powering up components off the car, like I showed you. So this ground lead is the same ground lead as this here. Now, if I want to supply power to the tip, just like that, and ground to the tip, just like that. Let me show you how I can use this to power up a window motor. All right, so I've got the window switch out. It's actually disconnected. 
So I've got the T-pins and these really come in handy. I'll put a link to these in the description. I use them all the time. So all I need to do now is take that auxiliary ground lead, put it on one terminal, and then I just need to power the other terminal up and the window should come down. And it does. Next, I'm going to reverse it. Put this here. And then go up. So that just checked all my wiring, my window motor, and everything works good here. So the most likely cause would be just a switch. So this tool has a 30 day warranty on Amazon. It has a one year manufacturer's warranty. They do offer technical support and it's under $30. Why wouldn't you? I'll put a link in the description on how you can purchase it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't wanna...